everybody. This is Elijah, aka Captain Sweet. And I have a, a weekly report on what's happening at the Barry Seeger plant. But basically, it's going to be a call out for support for my community. I'm going to tell you why it's taken so long for me to even ask. As most of you know, I've been working on this idea of a plan for about 25 years, maybe longer since I was about 20. It was more of a spiritual quest. And I was looking to find the truth. And along the way, I found it in different bits and pieces. And I put it together to something called the Inflow Matrix Operating System. It's essentially a way to organize any job, any organization, and any community with an ideal structure that can be custom designed and fit anywhere because of the language. But it can be custom designed with a value system specifically for you. So that way we have unity by having a sort of structure where we all have the same things. We all do activities. We all build products. We all use resources. We all have relationships. But inside there, we're all different for each person. And the values program it in such a way that you have free choice of the values that you want to live your life by. So this inflow matrix operating system becomes the operating system for something called a shared knowledge community, where all those individuals, organizations, and communities come together inside a structure that has 144 people. And there's 12 originators, there's 12 entrepreneurs, there's 12 teachers, there's 12 tech gurus, there's 12 artists, there's 12 healers, there's 12 country guardians, 12 illuminators, 12 mediators, 12 facilitators, 12 youth, and 12 elders. Now this is a structure for a new paradigm business where you're taking individuals, putting them on teams, utilizing their gifts first, not the product of commodities, as being the way they make their living. And the shared knowledge community acts as an infrastructure and marketing system to assist everybody to make a minimum do minimum wage of $100 per hour, but also participating on larger product teams with the percent of commissions based upon larger works that they then cannot have to work per hour, just getting residual income each month from what they've created. And this shared knowledge community is like a, a cell in the new paradigm, as opposed to a corporation, which is a cell for the old paradigm. Now, right now, we are in the midst of bringing a Earth manifesto into the world coming June 27th. And this has been pioneered by Ramayan, who is one of the individuals over this time who has participated with me in learning about the inflow matrix and shared knowledge communities. And he has been doing his own work in this regard. And now he is pioneering an Earth Manifesto where the inflow matrix is going to be the operating system behind it. It's going to become a living, breathing document that is going to have the power of an operating system to bring it into being. Now, there's a software program and there's also an operating system that works in your mind. And then there's an operating system that works on maps and paper offline. So if the computers break down, the system's still there. But it also is looking at if it's working offline, <coughs> it should be working online. And the two should work together. And your mind is the, the place where they meet. So we're looking to get a fully integrated, ethical-based business system that can run any business to be launched within this Earth Manifesto to bring methodology, to bring a love-based paradigm into the world. Now, I've been working on this pretty much full-time on my own without funding and living a very simple existence. So I had the time to focus on this. And now, we are entering into a place where <clears throat> it is moving from theory into reality and I need help. 
we need help. Um, I've been wanting to build infrastructure with the people that I know, but I found that people don't really believe me when I said what I'm doing. And everyone seems intent on supporting that old paradigm, wanting to just live the life that is normal. And I'm saying we need to change. And now in the world, it's happened, right? The world has changed. And right now it's sitting still, it's stopped. And everyone has had the ability to reflect on what they want to do with their life and how they're going to interact with the economic system as it is. And if you want to participate with that old paradigm, you know, that's up to you. But if you want to participate in the new paradigm, it's going to take some training. It's going to take some interest. It's going to take your attention reformatting your mind with teams of people and building exactly what you want to build. It takes determination, it takes courage, it takes innovation, it takes awareness, it takes all of the values that you're going to program into your particular maps and your life. Now, I'm not quite sure how I personally am going to handle all of the people that need to get organized. I do know that money does not make it happen, but money will allow it to build. And now we have proven the concept. Now we're, we're going into the world. And so there's a guy in New Zealand, Noah, who's working right now, building a software program by himself. He works uh, driving a truck, has to make some money to live. And he needs to stop driving the truck today and he needs a salary so he can build this incredible software system that's gonna connect into this Earth Manifesto, that's gonna connect into the Inflow Matrix because it is a part of the Inflow Matrix software system. He's just one person of all the people, but that one person is essential. There's another person in Greece who's designing a game and it's incredible. It's like the best idea I've ever heard. And he doesn't have a laptop and he's a writer. So there are people all across the planet, planetary guardians that are doing things from the good of their heart, not because they're paid, and they live an existence that barely gets by while all these people with millions have beautiful lives, are sucking from the energy of the planet and are doing nothing to help out. Where's the justice in that? Where's the truth in that? So I know you're supposed to build a business plan, to do pitch sheets and decks go in front of investors, put your heart on the line. That's not what I want to do. That's what I didn't do. I did not get corrupted by funders. I did not corrupted by having to pursue for money. I asked the creator, support me. And through magic and through the gifts of my friends and people who've met me, I have made it this far. And I'm asking you for help. I'm asking you to contribute. If you can't contribute time, contribute money. And it, it can be a loan, it can be a gift, it can be an investment, but everyone is going to get their just reward within this idea. And this idea has way much for everybody. But you have to jump in, you have to participate. So I'm sending this to everyone I know who I've been participating with. And I'm just asking you, this is your chance. Up until now, you've been sitting on the fence, maybe watching me and wondering, when's he gonna fall? When's he gonna succeed? And when that happens, you'll help. 
I've been in the forest trying to protect old growth forest. I've been outside embassies trying to protect the dolphins. I've been in Occupy trying to protect the planet. When I'm not working on my particular designs, I'm out in the front lines filming, looking to see what I can see, learning, and seeing that we basically get slaughtered. The good guys don't get paid. The people that are wrecking the planet get paid. And it's not right. It's not right at all. And the people that are at home doing your work because you have to do it. You don't show up when you need to. You don't send money. And you just watch it fail and fail and you think, oh boy, those guys can't do anything. I'm not trying to shame or blame you. I'm trying to bring a truth to the reality that there are people out there, real planetary guardians, who need support, who are doing the real work to protect what is left for the next generations to come. And all these rich fat cats, all the people who are again, making all the money from everything being extracted from Mother Earth. They make so much wealth at the expense of everybody. And they have no idea that there's a connection between that. Now is the time to actually stand up and do something. You cannot be on the sidelines anymore. If you are, you're on the side that is destroying the planet. You cannot continue to extract all the resources in a closed ecosystem with a mentality that is insane and call it business and think we're not gonna pay a price. Well, we're paying a price and it's gonna get worse and worse and worse unless humans learn to self-organize. Learn to take the wheel in your own hand and do it in a good way. Do it in an ethical way. And do it in a way that is balanced with mother nature using the universal laws rather than the man-made man -made legal system to chart our course. I'm asking for your help. I believe I've proven myself by my actions and my intentions, the purity of my heart and the purity of my vision. And I'm offering you a future that we can all connect into to achieve a much higher vision of our planet. And right now, this Earth Manifesto is this reference point. We need your help. If I send this to you and you don't respond, that will be my answer that we are no longer in relationship. I've sent out too many wake up calls and sent out too many messages with no response from the people I love, from the people who I believe in, and yet they do not believe in me. No more. There's a line in the sand and you have to make the stand. 